personalized is, is a little bit uh, of a problem for China because, of course, uh, it loses uh, an entry point into the European Union market. So any Chinese investment into the UK, any export into the UK would have then found their ways into the other 27, 26 member states. So this is a little bit of a problem. Having said that, I think the UK is keen to rejuvenate the relationship uh, with China independently from the EU. So I think it's a reset of a relationship it's not going to be maybe the golden air that we are looking with David Cameron a few years back, but I think given the uh, you know inertia sometimes of the European Union in the making agreements on trade and investment, I think the UK and China have an opportunity to do bilateral agreement in a more efficient way. So not the golden era, but perhaps a reset. So what kind of post-Brexit relationship between the UK and China do you see shaping up in the coming months and years? I think uh, the reset is uh, needed because the geopolitical situation has uh, changed. Uh, I, I would call it a silver air, maybe not a golden air. But the United Kingdom, uh, I think, uh, uh, is fully understand that the trade deficit, the trade surplus uh, do not matter very much. The UK is very happy to have a trade deficit with almost any country in the world. So do not be focusing on that, for example, very different strategy from that of the uh, United States. And uh, I actually, just a few weeks ago, I heard uh, uh, David Cameron, that of course is uh, ex-Prime Minister, saying, you know, Chinese investment is very welcome into the UK, even in areas that in other parts of Europe would be uh, raising concerns, such as energy, logistics, uh, uh, even telecoms. So I do think that this is an opportunity, resetting it with the reciprocity, because the UK company also want to invest in China. So if China opens up the door for UK investment, then it would find a very door very open back into the United Kingdom. So in or out of the EU, the UK is open for business. So what does the United Kingdom have to offer China in particular? Uh, it is uh, the biggest financial market uh, in Europe uh, and uh, probably in the world. There is a renminbi settlement. Uh, uh, that means uh, a, a hub for all transnational uh, cross-border M&A. Uh, there are some energy, green energy cooperation opportunities. China is going green, and this is a big, big change. Electric vehicles, uh, we have a manufacturing of uh, automobiles in the UK that can be easily and quickly upgraded to the new technology, uh, electric, for example. And uh, of course, uh, uh, we also have uh, the area of technology. The UK, I think, is a tribe investment. We have a, a very easy way for startup uh, to uh, be set up. And this is exactly the fertile uh, environment that the Chinese company uh, do need. So I think uh, these are the three main areas uh, that China would find the UK a good uh, business partner.